After yesterday's rainstorm, it is now a sunny 76 degrees outside with absolutely no chance of storming anymore. And you'll see that in my other video, you can hear that thunder that really gave me a fright. And it was absolutely loud and it was just horrendous to be in, especially working on the car outside. But today, we are looking at new cars, or in that case, used cars that are hopefully looking new. You see it? There's an Evo over there, hiding around. See the Evo? See the Evo? Evo. Can't start the day out without a local dose of the Starbucks coffee. We got that drink. Now let's go look at some cars. I had to stop just for a second because if you yourself are looking for a new car, don't just start recording on the lot. Make sure you ask your sales representative before you do so. So this is the first car we're looking at. 17 Subaru Yeah, this is the only car So the first car to see is this Subaru Outback. That's it, that's the Patriot that I'm... Are you kidding me? Oh, a Jeep. And there are half of them are all Jeeps. <laughs> there we go. Third time to try. Let's take a look. Here we go. 15 Jeep Patriot. Driven one. And it's nice for off-roading. Has 21 miles to the gallon. Twinning. There's another Jeep Patriot behind. The Jeep had kind of a shutter going around turns at low speed. It feels like maybe one of the wheels is skipping. So we're going to go take a look at another Jeep right now. Yes! I just had to. These are the best Jeeps besides the Grand Wagoneers. I used to see these in my youth. This is the best thing. Solid bench seat in the rear. We get in, classic, classic. And then classic square body in the back with no headrest. I love that. And the fact that the headliner's still intact, that is even cooler. No airbag. Has no visible issues, but it does need an alignment bad. It does not track straight whatsoever. I do love this car though. It is. I might consider getting one in the future. Oh, uh, now we got some issues. We are starting to see where the rust is. We didn't end up looking and getting any of those Jeeps. So, we're, uh, Sorry, instead of going to Toyota, we're at a Jeep dealership and we're gonna take a look at some real Jeeps that have been inside the property of a Jeep dealership. All right, let's do this. And that Jeeps today. Kind of a questionable escape time. Good. From what I can tell. Inside a 14 now, a uh, Jeep Patriot. Uh, first things first, something just hanging down above my feet. Oh, it's probably just the power brake. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. How does it feel so far? I don't know. We are just cruising. We are going. This one has a CVT instead of a mint, um, instead of a regular automatic transmission. It does need a service and 
June 15, 2020 for 75,000. That's 71 right now. So it probably should be going to service now. By now? Yes. I mean, it's already July. Sweet Ford right there. You don't see it. So we went and looked at a bunch of cars, mostly Jake Patriots, and unfortunately we could not find one. So we're going to try again next week and see if we could find a Jeep Patriot that suits our style. And hopefully it'll be what we're looking for. So without further ado, I'm going to end this vlog of finding a car unsuccessfully. Let me tell you, it's a lot harder than it may seem. After all that searching for a car, we finally came across one that doesn't seem overly complicated and overbearing. This is a very, very basic car for a starter car. And many will think, oh, it's a terrible car. Well, in this case, a starter car with good gas mileage, very, very cheap to fill up, especially with today's prices. Well, that's all that matters. Let me introduce you to the little thing. Well, it took a while and say hello to a 2008 Nissan Versa. Let me give you a general overview of the car. And this is a low miles, out of state, rust free car. Mind you, given its age, especially for Michigan cars, that is incredible. The car came equipped with 185-65 R15 tires on 15 inch rims. This subcompact Nissan Versa was designed for the budget friendly buyer, especially for the first car people. Versa, known for versatile space, created a spacious interior in a small package. The Nissan Versa would be along the lines of a Mitsubishi Mirage or a Ford Fiesta. These cars are very, very basic. Mind you, if you're looking for a very basic economy car, this is for you. It takes you from point A to point B, comes in a variety of colors, and it comes in a sedan model as well. The Nissan Versa had different design changes throughout its production run, but will be soon coming to an end in favor of crossover. The versatile space definitely shows on the inside of the Versa. This car can accommodate a six foot person with no problem because there's nothing there to hit. The car has power windows all the way around and power locks. and keeping to true simplicity this car has very very limited basic options given the super felt steering wheel car has 90,636,000 miles believe it or not for an 08 we've got a very basic radio with regular climate control knobs working functioning everything even a handbrake sadly it doesn't have the manual transmission it just has the four speed automatic but it does have a cloth interior and it is very basic when you think of basic this car really is a true testament to that because it is really basic cool thing i'm not in the car the car is running but it's telling me to put my seat belt on also here's another cool thing the key fob works even though the car is running. Huh. Well, I'll do a more in-depth tour of this car later on because you will see it in later videos. Right now, we just got it running and that's the main thing. I mean, it did come already running or else we wouldn't have bought it, but we have started cleaning it out and getting it up to standard a little more. And the standard of being clean, um, more along the lines of oil changes, getting maintenance done, getting the brakes done, pretty much anything that's, you know, a maintenance or a wear part. Other than that, you do not know how long it takes to do the spark plugs just in this car. You want Honda VTEC, this thing, oh my goodness. Otherwise, I will do a car tour in the later video of this car. I'm glad we finally found a car that suits the need and we went almost five months into looking into a brand new car. This car was affordable, it was cheap, and we bought it from somebody who really just wanted to get rid of it. But that doesn't mean it's not a bad car.
car or a part is only as good as the thing it's gonna go on and you don't know if it's good or not until it's actually been installed. I'm gonna end this video that we finally found this Nissan Versa. Believe it or not, this car actually drives really, really nice. Besides the tire noise and the insane amount of uh, strut bearing noise, because every time you turn the wheel, there's a strut bearing and I will go in depth in a later video about that. Though this is driving starting to drive really nice it's pretty smooth a little bit louder than normal but it is a nice car to just cruise around in as a daily econobox beater car